in wezen enkel. And W O for life, baby. And Celsius for life. It's Celsius. episode 20. Let's snap. Oh, yeah. Another episode. Oh, We're in it right now. Celsius and while you're getting caffeine, you want to stay hydrated too. And that's where I got my prime. What flavor you Celsius you got this episode? I got my, uh, I got a tropical vibe. The uh, sparkling star fruit pineapple edition, which I think I also drank on episode seventeen. So I'm doubling up, and I That's got the ice pop prime back to back episodes. But also had the lemonade and strawberry banana presented out on the table for that last huge episode for our dynasty predictions, sponsored by Celsius and Prime. Yeah, and but, let's not bury the headline. John got all of those predictions. Yeah. Hundred percent. Congrats, man. Ninety percent and eighty percent. So cool, dude. Yeah. Yeah. But did you That's win a... Fuego del Sol's car in the Miro match? That's true. One day. One, One day. day I will. No, I I think definitely uh I just had a feeling that Jar like I don't know. I just I tr- I, I trust that Jericho has a lot more control than I mean, he can do whatever he wants. Like, you know what I mean? He's the day one champ. Anything he goes to Tony with, Tony's like, yeah, for sure. And, yeah. I'm interested you know, in I, seeing how the Vortex I think it's opens. awesome. I think it's fucking awesome, honestly. Yeah, it, the learning tree thing is fucking... Last night, like, it just proves that he does have another creepy character that's... Yeah, I was going to say, like, I wasn't interested at first until last night. And now, now I'm 100% back in. Yeah, and I think he knows that that was going to make everyone pissed off if he beat Hook because mm-hmm. they're saying oh, every yeah. they're saying everything was saying for a while. Like he's, I've seen so many people now post like he's Hulk Hogan and stuff and blah 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 and doing like uh, splices of like, both of them and playing their music and it's like yeah. you're getting it's, worked, dog. It's really fucking stupid when they say he's like Hulk Hogan because he's like really nothing like Hulk Hogan. <laughs> yeah. No, no. He'll, I mean, he put besides the, he, besides the he racism, put Hook over. Before all yeah, of this. He's, yeah, yeah, he's splitting with him. I, he's treating him as an equal, and I I, I think I that's mean, fine. Even you in know? the Dynasty match, Hook kicked out of two Judas effects. It's not like he squashed yeah. him or anything. And, and all, the Judas effects only been kicked out of one time ever. So, so for him to, yeah. So I think that was – his kayfabe power wasn't lost to me, Hook, in that match. Like, Jericho had to use a bat. Like, I think that's why he yeah. – And that was an amazing bat shot. Like, that looks so fucking good. It was a great but match. We'll, we'll, like I don't um, yeah. I don't see what people are complaining, but because they're getting work, dude. Jericho pulled him in. And I it's, mean, it's perfect. Both Hook and Jericho are polarizing for the same reason: their age. You know what I mean? Yeah. People look yeah. at Jericho, they're like, "Go away, you're too old. We're tired of it." <laughs> and people kind of write off Hook because he's too young or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I yeah. think they've proved yeah. time and again. Like I said. I was right. I I was I was tired of Jericho until last night. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, no, he uh it was he good and it. um I just love the patronizing like act he has going where he just like acts like a super nice guy. Like it's fucking Yeah, I love characters. It's pretty, it's like, it's pretty it's funny. Like kind of culty type deal too. Yeah, yeah. I fucking and then Big Billy comes on out. We'll, we'll get to Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was just like. I was like, Chris has no choice now. He's fucking. <laughs> he's he's joining the learning tree, oh, baby. babe. Breathe I'm it to in. Go into vortex, baby. I was in like not to continue talking about this because we're gonna get to it. But I was in once I heard the intro to his song where he says, "I'm the learning tree." I was like, "All right, I'm back." <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and he got rid of the extreme spotlight by Fozzy. Yeah, well, yeah, us money, Chris. Because, yeah. All right, so we're going to hop into news when, you know, we'll see if it's uh The rapid fire 10, news. A t- yeah, a 10 or it's fucking shards. Uh, starting out, this is pretty huge this week. Uh, Trick Williams, NXT champ. I would say t- 10. Yeah, Ten. I, 10s. I, I didn't see that entire... I saw probably 80% of that show, and I'm, that match was really good. Mm-hmm. It was... So yeah, it I, means- I think... Dra- yeah. He's getting called up, yeah. That's what you're gonna say, right? Which I've been, yep, that's what I've been waiting for. Mm-hmm. And I guess he can join Imperium because they just got rid of uh, 
for fucking Giovanni. Yeah, but what if he what if he teams up with Giovanni? That would be cool too. I feel like that'd be and they take some. It'd be scary as it would be Imperium would be really fucking scary though if they had a dragon off to it. Yeah, but I feel a, like him and Gunther have to go head to head. He's the guy who beat Gunther to begin with for the, the UK championship, so Yeah, so that's why I couldn't see his character like going under him. But, but mm-hmm. he just they like to pair the European guys together. The yeah. the Spanish like they I don't know, it's just that's just wrestling. They make everyone makes their stables and there's like always the generic ones for sure mm-hmm. um but yeah so trick williams is awesome and he's yeah, fucking so yeah. dude did you see uh did you guys see any clips from it like after he won yeah. like, the crowd you, mm-hmm. you hear like the play is shaking it was so fucked up yeah dude. he like, progressed so fucking fast a lot of those guys dude, down there did dude if i lived by the performance center down in florida i'd probably be fucking that next week might, might be my favorite because i'd probably go there every fucking week It'd be cool. It's probably like not that expensive. Um, I wonder how expensive it is to go every week. Yeah, it's it's like at the performance. I think it's like twenty five bucks or something, depending where it's it nothing, is. It's not man. a lot of money, and you, you just have to get there on time and stand outside. It used to be and like yeah, it used to be at full sale, and now it's I I guess at the performance center. Like you, you can said. find NXT yeah. live tickets as low as fifty six dollars, with an average price of one hundred and fifty eight oh, so dollars. So, so they went up a bunch. Then, oh, really? Over the Jesus. past few years, wow. Makes wait, sense. Though. Wait, wait. Is that just their tour, or is that <clears throat> that was from C- that that was Seat Geek? But I wonder see. if it's like because it's and always they, like, and they all, uh, like five hundred people, so it might be like and then they do dark shows to get too. They do dark shows too. Yeah, uh, and yeah. in Florida, which is weird. Besides, because like they do level up also, which I think usually is just a part of that show at the Performance Center when NXT goes. So it's a mm-hmm. three hour show because they'll do an hour level up. They probably start do thirty minutes at the start, maybe thirty minutes at the end. But I, uh, but yeah, Ooh, they do. It's so weird when they do yeah. like fucking weird. Like it looks like moose lodges, like up in Jersey, the elk lodge. Well, that's what I was gonna say. It's like the one thing that COVID killed was like NXT touring, other than Florida. Yeah, like I don't think they've been anywhere out of Florida or like this, like those three like border states in years. Yeah. So. Well, yeah, only for only for pay per views, like yeah. and usually big ones. Where yeah, they've been trying 20, to do that. In, in twenty nineteen, I saw them back to back. I saw them because I came home and saw them at my high school in Tom's River, and then I went back to college and saw them in Poughkeepsie the next night. That's dope. Yeah, they. That's a uh, dude. I when I seen them live, uh, saw their pay per view live. It was fucking. It was awesome. It reminded mm-hmm. me so much of ROH, honestly, because and I saw those pay per views. Like I saw the ROH the night before, and then the next morning saw an XC pay per view last year, and like it was the same vibe too. And I feel like yeah. a lot of the kind of the same crowd, and like just yeah, just like every match is great, and doing a lot of wild high spots, and just fucking going for it for sure. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's kind of weird. NXT is just like a territory now. Yeah, this you know, is it's the like the Florida the territory. How to not tear their ACLs every fucking two months. Dude, I'm tired of injuries and in wrestling. <laughs> every NXT wrestler tears their ACL, it seems like. Yeah. Hey guys, um, dude, I'm always... I found some yeah. info. So okay. NXT, yeah. uh, you, and when you go to like a Florida date, it looks like they range from like 15 to 25 bucks. But I also found that you can tour the NXT Performance Center for $1,500. That's oh, crazy. Isn't that Wow, that's wild? so cheap. That's so cheap. I guess it's he's just really crazy. Leave. That's probably what Ron DeSantis it. did. What is fucking Prince Albert show you around? Yeah, he's like, hey, you I know why he... my name is Prince Albert, right? Because I got my nipple rings attached to my belly button ring and my fucking... dick ring. <laughs> I better get a pack of Prince Alberts. For, for, yeah. For people that don't remember him as that name, A Train, dude. And then he was like, train, yeah. Wasn't he like but some he was also weird Japanese. Character? Yeah, he was yeah, also yeah, Jap- a character. Japanese man. It's pretty yeah. r- racially appropriative, but they had him go Kensu? against Cena. Was it was name? like, I don't know, dude. I know we should know this Kushida? right now. I it wanted sounds, to forget it's like, it. So much. It's like Tensu, isn't it? Some stupid Lord Tensu, Lord Tensai, yeah. Lord Tensai, Tensai. Tensai. Lord Tensai, yeah. <laughs> and dude, he got a main, he got a main card like match with Cena. Wow. And 
It's, it was insane, though. That was in, like, during the PC era, too. Oh. The PG are you era, sorry. The PG PC. I feel like Cena jobbed out to him a bunch of times on, like, Velocity. I might be making this up. Anyway, let's get into Dynasty, guys. No, well, that the well only we, get, we still got more news. Yeah. Oh my Jumping god, again, Jason. We did one. We did one. Jason's fire. such a Trick oh Williams god. fan that the only news for him is Trick Williams. Yeah. What else do we have to talk about? There's a bunch. I feel like. Um. So Carmel Taker Hayes did something recently. So Undertaker, uh, Shut up. was talking recently on a podcast, and he said that he thinks the women should have a intercontinental and a U.S. title added. Yeah, I mean, obviously, <laughs> like I feel like that's not like a, a crazy thing. Yeah. to say. I feel like but people like I, people yeah. have been begging for a secondary title for the women for a long time, and I think I mean they should have it. Yeah, I just don't think they should do two. I think they should do just yeah. one of them. Just do one, and then one have to it start. go, but have it go between both brands, and uh, just like the tag titles do for the women, mm-hmm. and I think that. Because two might be too a little too crazy, and I think NXT know? just is introducing one right now too. They're doing the women's North American title. Yeah, WWE waited too long to do a women's fucking TV title, and then Billy Corgan did it, and then Tony's then, like, "Yeah, it's a good yeah, idea, yeah, Billy." Exactly. And he just and Billy was just like, great, "Fuck, like, man, you fucked on me again, Tony." They have more than enough women to uh, like suffice another belt, so I don't see why. Yeah. Not. And they have, I mean, WWE's got so many top women right now. I'd say mm-hmm. it's just the biggest strength they have going on right now. They got to build. They're they're trying hard to build up kind of like their women mid card with a lot of the NXT um, women they brought up and stuff. And mm-hmm. they're slowly getting there a little bit. And, and the tag team division up. definitely yeah. helps with that after this draft and shit. So yeah, it just sucks that fucking uh, you know, Jade. I mean, I don't know. They need to make another talk because I feel like Jade Cargill. Is probably gonna have to win it, you know, one of the. That'd be cool if she was kind of yeah. like that. Does yeah, or because she, to me right now she's like uh like in Okada's position that he's in an AEW. I feel like it's her in the women's division, like she needs to get like she can definitely be a top star, and everyone knows that and win the main title. But they need to cruise a little bit. Bro, that's the one dumb fucking thing about the draft is that like Jade Cargill's in it, but like two weeks ago she's like, I signed a RAW exclusively and yeah now she's like already in the draft <laughs> it's just yeah. making fucking sense dude the drafts are always like that they just like keep making up rules as it goes along and then they break their own rules yeah, they post just... online and they're just like oh well it's because of this and then like well what i'm trying to like, understand well, the draft can shake anything up but exactly. oh, there's only certain people <laughs> available both days though do you see that but explain Let's this to it. me explain this to me so all champions are protected from being drafted except, except the women's the... tag team champs which why why is that because they're not because they exclusive. always yeah they always bounce between okay yeah because yeah, we only got one set of tag titles for the women so like it wouldn't be fair if just like only oh, okay, okay. yeah that makes sense and WWE draft, by the way, was the next subject. So wow, right what a seamless target. transition! But yeah, so so for SmackDown and Raw, when they're doing the draft both those days, there's only certain people available that day for the SmackDown, and then Raw, there's another set of like thirty people that are only available for that day mm. to draft from. So they're drafting from fifty, like half pools, both days. Right on. That's not totally complicated and stupid. <laughs> I guess. I mean, I guess this splits it up a tiny bit. I mean, I guess this splits it up a little bit. I don't know. No, I mean that's fine. They're, they'll have. They'll yeah. Have fun tell, with it. tell them, Jason. They'll have fun with it. Yeah. It's fine. No, we'll, I'm into it. we're gonna have we're gonna have fun with it too because we're gonna we'll post this on uh on IG. Um, we'll do our own draft, like you know, just together and oh, our nice, messages. Yeah. You know what I mean? We'll, we'll yeah, draft yeah, yeah. the. The available roster and then we'll post ours and we suggest other people do it too because it's a lot of fun jason's gonna be nxt though i'm wrong Unta, to NXT. Guy. I'm, drafting, <laughs> I'm drafting braun Strowman. dude he's probably gonna go, be in like the uncle howdy super group of freaks for sure is james yeah, ellsworth yeah, still with the company no, no, but I wish he was dude. out of the company for like seven. Right, health, just dude. making sure so we don't forget to draft. He's talking to fucking twelve year olds on Snapchat or some shit. No, yeah. but he still gets booked at indie stuff. Come on, what's going on? 
Yeah, that's a zero for me, guys. That's a zero. zero. Yeah. Keep yeah. James right. Ellsworth well, fuck, out of fuck your Wrestle communities. Show NJ for booking uh, Bellatine Dream and James Ellsworth this May. Are they both yeah, fighting for the title, it. or <laughs> they going for the pervert title? Is yeah, is Joey a, Ryan showing up? It's a, a witch call. It's like championship. A, it's like a witch call at a, a convention type shit. I think so. The so are they not even wrestling? They're just gonna. Sign autographs and, and, and write their the phone numbers. Yeah, <sighs> grab people's butts. All right. Mm. So the next right. thing was there was some releases this week in WWE. Uh, I would say the main ones was Von Wagner, Mister Come Tuesday, and uh, Cameron Grimes. It's not yeah. fucking right, man. It's not fucking yeah. right. That came up. The, I, I put think... all my energy into this oh, company. Bro. My dad died. And the last thing I said to him was, I got signed to WWE, man. Come Tuesday. Yeah. Come He's going to be on. <laughs> They're going to be signed. Come on. They got the crazy it. monologue. No, no. It came out today that they said, um, <laughs> Cameron Grimes said like five days ago before his release, he, he asked like higher ups. He's like, is my job good? And they're like, for sure, bro. And yeah, no problem. Later, yeah. That's fucked. That's yeah, crazy. Got, the last time I saw him on TV, he got jobbed out pretty fast. I, mm-hmm. It really wasn't surprising. Was it Braun Breaker, he, I think? Probably. He hasn't been on TV in so long. It really wasn't surprising. I guess they just didn't know Dude, what to do with he, him. He's a, he's a great wrestler. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's there's not a lot of room right now. WWE is uh, just, such, such as... Like the situation with AEW, like it's really fucking hard. The top of the card, it's really hard to squeak guys in there and mm-hmm. figure shit out. We got got a lot of great fucking wrestlers, and just a, both of them have yeah. The rosters are insane right now. Well, I don't know what Von Wagner does. I don't know if he even wants to continue to wrestle. You know what I mean? Because he's like uh, he yeah. has to learn what the fuck the Indies are. Like Trevor Lee was there for years. He knows what he's doing, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Wagner's Von Wagner is cool as fuck, dude. Here, I kind of like him, great. man. He's hilarious, dude. I'm he not saying he, cool, he's not going to succeed. I'm saying yeah, I don't know yeah. if he wants to fucking go to VFW. Yeah. And, dude, I wish I wish him and Cameron would him and Cameron would do an invasion angle on a ROH. That'd be cool. like why not have a little yeah. mini invasion angle for Ring, Ring of Honor with some, some fed double fed guys coming in? You know what I mean? Well, you know Trevor Lee showing up in AEW or Impact? I hope so. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, Cameron Grimes, yeah, dude, Impact we'll keeps fine. bolstering their roster too. You know, they his emotional monologue, long-term storytelling. They got to get there. Yeah, and but... then um, what's called came out today to uh, the other day. That um, the FTC, whatever they said, is like getting rid of non-compete clauses for like all careers and jobs and shit. So, That'd be cool. That'd be cool. So I don't know what that means for like existing non-competes for like wwe and stuff like that but apparently you can't do it anymore going forward yeah i always thought it was an insane thing that i always wish like a wrestler would like would have done it like in some mask Mm -hmm. and outfit and just not taking any money (laughs) there's no no way you can prove it it with him it's like funny hearing about like non-compete clauses in like not a wrestling context because like I didn't realize they were like real <laughs> things outside of yeah outside I of mean, wrestling. It's a big thing yeah. for workers' rights in yeah. general, but obviously yeah. the workers we care the most about are the ones that yeah. do the real job. It's true on um, TV on TV or even when it's dark or on even on zero the... or zero hour. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. So say? next we next we're going into uh one of our favorites, uh Goldberg, who I hope to have on the podcast soon. Goldberg. Um, Berg. He said some things about AEW. And personally, I'm hoping that this was like it's a work and he actually does join AEW. That would be that's funny. what I'm hoping. Because I feel because <laughs> he because he's cool with Tony Khan. I think that's why I think it's weird that he'd be such a D head about it, but it is Goldberg. But he's yeah, working. he said there's not a chance I'll be in AEW. The product's too cheesy. If there was, but then he has said if there's a comparable company to WWE, I'd consider it. So I was like, maybe he's talking about if Vince has his own company, he would do it. That's what but I Vince, thought too. I was thinking about what a Vince company would look like, and I think if he would do it like current day UFC or boxing, where he would just have maybe one or two, like he start like one event a month in Saudi Arabia, and he'd have Brock Lesnar and 
fucking Jill, uh, Kelly Ryan and Goldberg. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you know what I mean? He would just, he would Brian just Kendrick, pay guys. Brian Kendrick, Tessa Blanchard. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he would just pay guys Teddy Hart's money. his champion. <laughs> yeah. And then he would test, and then he would test the uh, Jimmy loyalty Havik. of a lot of people. You know what Head I mean? Head commissioner like, Abdullah the Butcher. Do you think Cena yeah, would cool. go wrestle for He's him? He's cool though. I think he do would. Do you think uh, Cena hundred percent? I think he would. That's what I'm saying. Like a lot of people's loyalty would be tested, and he, you he think Cena Kevin would? He's never said or anything Cena, about. Cena wouldn't even happened, denounce dude. him. He'd be like, "He's my friend. They make mistakes or some that's bullshit." His, that's I his know, father. but. Yeah. I feel like just for the sake of Cena's money, he wants to not. He wouldn't like sabotage his acting career. Yeah, yeah, that's the one thing. But he was like going out to dinner with Vince slash when he first left it like a year ago. Or whatever, remember that? It was like yeah, Vince and his new girlfriend Cena and his like wife or whatever. Oh uh, yeah, that shit was scary. So he never gave a shit. He, he's the Rock. Yeah. The Rock said, "Don't leave Cena alone, dude. Leave him alone." And they said, leave Cena so, alone. We're going to make sure the Black Adam sucks. And then The Rock and then, took that. And then The Rock was like, we're, we're, it to he's like, we're going to make sure John Cena dies in Fast X. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be on the same set as that motherfucker. And yeah. then WrestleMania, he's like, Trips, like, yeah, I'll, I'll do a match, but I'm fucking up John Cena. Like, John Cena, what does he have to do with it? Like, I don't care. Put him in it. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> and I'm not taking a stunner from Stone Cold. Have that, have that fucking pervert, The Undertaker, come out. <laughs> you know, I'm just tired of all these the heterosex, the heterosexual undertaker. Is that what it, <laughs> we call him now? We have to call yeah. him heterosexual undertaker. <laughs> we call him straight undertaker. I call him homoph- yeah. homophobic undertaker. There He's you a go. man's man. He's a man's man. <clears throat> all right, time out. Boomer taker. We're less than right, a minute. So, <laughs> yeah. Um. So next in the news, uh. Another NXT, but they're doing Battlegrounds in Vegas. We're talking about like they're moving around. So, uh, but they're doing it at the UFC Apex Center. So that's like UFC's performance center kind of thing. And they filmed during COVID. They did a couple pay per views from there, and they couldn't have like the crowd. So yeah. it's a WWE NXT. Uh, U- I mean UFC crossover. So what does it mean? Like I don't get it. Like it's just I don't like know. they're they running in do that a- arena. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they just I saw didn't do a, a big... fun crossover. I didn't get it though. Like, it doesn't like is nothing yeah. UFC's about it except that UFC yeah, also they'll... has fights there sometimes. Yeah, they'll probably just have like a couple of UFC stars there and like mm-hmm. try to promote like cross promote do... from, like the UFC's yeah. next event. You know what I mean? Uh, okay. Are trying to yeah. test the waters? Yeah. Well, they've slowly been doing that this year, like since mm-hmm. the merger and everything. Like having crossovers and UFC stars at pay-per-views and on Raw. Yeah. But do you think they'll ever do a crossover pay-per-view? That would be awesome. That's I the real the UFC guys anymore. would lose, though. Well, they, they mean, make... they could. No, I mean, bean. you don't have to have everyone be it'd wrestlers be like... versus. It could be just a card with mixed stuff. Like, No, nah, it'd, be, it'd be way too, like, jarring and mixed crowd reactions. Yeah. yeah. Cause you because you know there's well, a bunch of, like, You'd have fucking to have drunk shoot. bro, like bros, like booing the fuck out of it because it's wrestling and shit like yeah. that. Who want to yeah, see like, like this is fake? Gnarly well, we UFC got bullshit. we got Brock Lesnar. They would just have to do shoot fights. It had to be a versus and be real. We got Brock Lesnar, but they don't have to get steroid tested. That's the rules. So <laughs> that's the Brock, rules. Logan Paul was gonna do was gonna do MMA. It's the only rule. So he yeah he's trained to do it. He can do MMA at any point. So Logan Paul, we got him. Logan versus Brock, Shana, Brock. Shana Baszler. Shayna Shana Baszler. Baszler. We'll bring back Ronda Rousey. Um, mm, I don't think so. And then, I don't uh, think, we'll, think he's coming. And then we'll bring back Matt Riddle too. And then I don't yeah. think so. After what he's getting paid, <laughs> you can sign a Paige Paige Van Zant. Yeah, we'll see him Punk, dude. He's, oh, he yeah, was a UFC Punk. star. He's fun to I don't use know in he the was game. A star, but he can find no. Well, he was a star <laughs> in the way that you know. He was a WWE star. The way that plane number two was a star, you know? You can't look away. As we stars burn out sometimes, you know? (laughs) We remember. And sometimes they go to the UFC and they burn out. But that came out this week, too. Like, Meltzer was talking about Paige Van Zandt. And, like, is is she still with AEW? And he was like, she just doesn't want to be a wrestler. And I'm like, yeah, why the fuck would she? If she's making, like... 
a stupid amount of money doing OnlyFans. Like, yeah. why fucking punish your body doing wrestling yeah. if you and don't really And that's what I feel like, like Mandy Rose, like, feels like, too. She's just killing it, so. Yeah. Respect. Yeah. Yeah, much love to them, you know. Yeah. Pay your own way. Lacey Evans, your favorite, Chris. <laughs> yeah, she always fucking sucks, so. Apparently, uh, Julia Gulia is possibly going to show up at NXT for the next pay per view. That'd be or cool. soon. I and thought she still also... do stuff with um, that new, the new Japanese woman company. It's like Mari Gold or some shit. It's like the, yeah, the old stardom owner, Rossi, whatever his name is, that Kenny yeah. Omega hates because he's a pedophile. Oh, damn. Or something. Wow. We just can't get we gotta get rid of these pedos in the wrestling world. Kenny too. was I'm like tired of it. Kenny was like I don't know. He said something like something about young girls, which I don't know. Can I tell you something insane Kenny real Rossi. quick? This is just a quick sidebar. Uh oh. I got a call from a friend of the pod, Nick Dvorsky. Uh you mean he was he was like, dude six six six. Yeah, that that's his uh work. His name. wrestling name. <laughs> um so he, his shoot name, that's crazy. <clears throat> there you go. So he was like Dude, I just saw this crazy video. It was like a backstage thing of like Kenny Omega getting into like a fight with someone, but it was like real. I was like, I think that's Jack Perry and CM Punk you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, dude, it yeah. was Kenny Omega. It was Kenny. Dude. Yeah. Was like, For sure. Yeah, he was listening. <laughs> he was probably uh, reading some Dave Meltzer articles or something. Or yeah, I started tab. to believe him. I'm like, dude, the pod's in like five <laughs> minutes. You can't tell me this right now. Yeah, it's Kenny. Sick bastard. Kenny doesn't want anything to do with it, okay? Nick's got the real and, scoop. He's going to come back and save Tony. And that's what brings That'd us into sick. Dynamite. We should Wait, do I got, Dynamite. I got, I got one more. Um, Good news? Rapid Fire. Yeah. I think yeah. it came out like three hours ago that... um. The Grizzled Young Vets are wrestling on Collision this Saturday versus the Acclaim. You know what I'm talking that's about? That's pretty sick. Yeah, yeah, I know them. Mm-hmm. So that's cool. Yeah, I'm excited to see like what's, <laughs> what what cool. the Acclaim do next, story-wise, after their trio's loss. I don't know. Split them up? I don't know if that's the move, you know? Bowen's rules. And he Max does. Cass, there's he a does. lot of like go-away heat right now, so... Yeah. Yeah, people are mad at him. I don't. I don't appreciate it. Why is that? <clears throat> He's corny. You got to sneeze. That's fun though. <clears throat> He's corny. Why is he corny, dude? We love it. <clears throat> I'm just saying we love it. Corny wrestling Twitter saying it's not my views, bro. They're saying it's corny. No, no, yeah, no, I know, yeah, no, they are. The thing is corny. A lot of them, all the haters, got on him after he had the one mess up. We're gonna do storyline though. The we're gonna thing. do di- we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna do right. Dynasty, and with each match, we're gonna talk about how that feud was furthered on Dynamite. That way, we cover both. Okay, both, both of these. Okay, Trent Beretta versus Trent. Matt Seidel. Trent won. <laughs> Trent did. won. He did. He beat the PG era fucking loser. Yeah. And I'm liking. It wasn't the night for PG era guys. I'll say that much. <laughs> no PG era guys won on this show. True. Yeah. Unless True. you can say, yeah, and I'm I'm talking about people not started in the PG era. You know, because Jericho wrestled in the PG era, but he's yeah. died. It's all rock and roll. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So then on Dynamite. <clears throat> Trent uh attacked Orange as he was making his entrance and stuff. And then um it was kind of like a Chuck had to choose type moment. He yeah, chose Orange. He already made his choice. Yeah. yeah. What do you say? What do you say? You've always been a piece of shit. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, which is pretty good. Yeah, it's true though. Trent's, uh, Trent has always been a piece of shit. So you, and you think Rocky Romero's gonna come into this feud too? Because he's like Trent's tag partner. I what about so. Dan Housen? Where's Dan, Dan Housen? Housen? In Chicago, sucking CM Punk's dick. Yeah, because <laughs> he's, he's, he's like a loose. He's loosely a part of the best friends society. He's been, basically, he's been doing a lot of GCW, right? Yeah. Good for him. We need him. We need him back. GCW. Nah. Let him get some practice. How dare you guys? Anyway, like, how dare you have? My thing with Dan Housen is like, there's like <laughs> a thousand better wrestlers 
on the roster. It's like, give him some funny shit to do. We don't need to be giving this guy, like, feuds and matches. Oh, no, but I think he should be, like, a, a part of the storyline, kind of. You know what I mean? Because the best mm-hmm. friends are, like, I don't know. Or being, but, like, like, an oddities same, group. Like, he was, Dan Housen was, like, a part of best friends just as long as, like, Hook was a part of best friends. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's but like, Hook like, never said why he left. But Hook never really left the best friends, right? There's never know. a moment where he's, like, they had a... I think so he's, he's just cool like with t- them. He's still yeah, cool he's with still, Orange. <clears throat> yeah, they're like loose, stable members that are like, yeah, yeah. They've got that well, going on on Raw with Do- Dirty Dom is a part of, um, the uh, evil Santos L W O. Yeah. Well, he's so a part of the um, evil L W O and also Judgment Day, but he's loosely with it, them. Right on. What I was gonna say is we got a, uh, a match on Rampage. They're doing Rampage live this week. And it's going to be Chuck versus Trent, parking lot brawl. I think it's going to be fun. Yeah. Yeah, they did. They, in fact, lied, though. It is not live because. They oh, it isn't? It, they, it yes. said live on Dynamite, but they did tape it yesterday. Right on. So, what the fuck? We're a bunch of sickos. That's funny. It's fucked, it's fucked up because Tony Khan was wearing a they neck lied. brace. They lied. While they were taping it, they said. <laughs> Dude, so. Tony Khan better be wearing a fucking neck brace tonight. But we'll I'm going to blow my that. brains out if he's not. I'll, uh, yeah. bro, any, I'll piss like, myself and cry. Let's, I'll talk about it later. Like, I don't want to jump again about the Tony Khan stuff. So. Fair yeah, enough. yeah, we'll get into it. Okay, so <clears throat> then on Dynasty, we had Orange Cassidy and Shibata versus Shane Taylor and Lee Moriarty. Which is a solid match. <clears throat> Cassidy and yeah. Shibata won. Yeah. And that just, like, prolonged the... Or forwarded the Jericho... Or not Jericho, Trent Orange stuff. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it really just gave both teams the something to do, you know. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, was the Bang Bang Scissor Gang for the trios, um, undisputed championship. Yeah, and shouldn't have been on Gets zero hour. But what can you do? What can you do? And uh, yeah, yeah. Bullet Club Gold took the dub, which we kind of expected. So. Yeah. Well, something know. else to consider about Zero Hour is it's the only part of the pay per view that's free, so it's the only part that everyone's gonna probably see. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. On paper, if that makes yeah. sense. So yeah. I don't think it's that much of a burying to have Bang Bang on the fucking. You know what I mean? On the Zero Hour. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Yeah, I don't know. They're main card guys, though. That's my. Yeah. I don't know. I just. I just want more for Jay White, and I think once Juice comes back, we'll get some, we'll get some magic. Hell yeah! Now Maybe it's time. Jay White versus Will Osprey, all in. I think that would I'd make like sense that. for the international title. Maybe. Yeah, that would be cool. He's got to take that from Roddy. Shit. Oh no! Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, Roddy's fucked, dude. Adam Cole's gonna spank him for sure. <clears throat> Um, we were watching with uh, our dad and he's kind of like an old head when it comes to wrestling so like the zero hour matches he was like this is bullshit he like hated the guns so much and then as soon as Okada and Pac came on the screen and started doing their shit he was like whoa I was like I told you old man dad's little now." Yeah, the dad's like Okada. He's the rainmaker. Let's go. Yeah. Pac, too. He was real stoked on Pac. Uh, yeah, I heard your dad was chanting. He was like, thank you, bastard, or some shit. After the he match. was, yeah. yeah. That was your dad. He was yeah. screaming. I had to tell it. him yeah. what they were saying, and then he was like, yeah, he, he is our bastard. I think he is. is that it? Yeah, that's what it was. He's our bastard. <laughs> yeah. Is it Pac or Pac? No one knows, and no, it doesn't matter. You can say it however you want. I'll, One uh, puck, two I'll, puck, three puck, none or some shit. I'm calling him Pake. Pake? It's Pake. Awesome. <laughs> he wow, said I can... Give a fuck about how to say There's it. no <laughs> rules. There's no rules. I can say it however I want. Shout out three so. puck. FTW rules. FTW rules, dude. Bloodline rules, too. It's whatever The Rock says. And Taz. Mm-hmm. So, they'll be the booker men for that match. And then, uh, yeah, Jericho. We can we can hop off ahead, I guess. Jericho and uh and Hook. 
Which well, was a fun match. A lot of people yeah, hated it. But... In the beginning. Yeah. Real quick, yeah, I, I thought... House of Black beat uh, Cope Squad, and that's going to move on to, you know, Malachi yeah. versus Edge. Fun so... match. But yeah. Whatever. Exactly. Yeah, he got the pin here, Malachi, so he's not going to get the pin when they go 1v1. I don't know. I, also, think, I still think he is. I still think he's going to win. Yeah. All but right, let's hit, let's hit Jericho. Jericho. You guys are it just dying to talk A lot of people Jericho. hated on it. It was very low. Like uh, I think it was like the lowest rated match of the night by cage match or whatever. It makes no sense because that was like it was actually like a good match. Like, yeah, I got to see on Bleacher Report too. Dude, it like <clears throat> it gave me it gave me some life. Like I need you need those matches and pay per views. Mm-hmm. Like after he I took, don't know, Jericho break took up like, the... a gnarly bump too with on the table, like off the apron to the table, dude. When they did yeah. the suplex of him in the fucking garbage can with like his arm up, yeah. like, I don't know. Yeah, it was. Awesome. I don't see any like way of taking that like comfortably, you know. Yeah, yeah, it was a good. It was match. Awesome. They can say it, it was fun, dude. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, <clears throat> and when people say Jericho's leeching off the young town, it's like no, dude, he's, he's the learning tree. How could they? He's the uh, learning tree, and breathing in, he's man. he's shading them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From they the gotta ignorance. learn, dude. Yeah, Taz needs to fucking know his role, <clears throat> or he's gonna get thrown on the ground like an idiot again. Exactly. Know your yeah. fucking role, Taz. You're fucking big, your son up. Big Bill's now in the fold, which is awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty exciting. I like he put his little decal over Taz's name. Mm-hmm. Taz is just like upset. it's such a cooler title now, dude. Looks awesome. If Big Bill's here, what's, that's what's, what I was missing. What's Ricky doing? Ricky Starks. I don't know. I feel like Big Bill's gonna kill Ricky Starts. I don't know. I don't know. I'm I really resume. Who do you think they would have? They would have join. Besides, uh, I was thinking that I really Big don't Bill. Know. I don't know. Because if someone Jericho's always wants to bring Young Town, and then he can try to help help get over with his storyline and shit. Bring Jake you know? Hager back in for fun. Is Sammy coming back? I was thinking that too. Like, what the fuck is he doing? Because Sammy, it would be great. Because Sammy is like, if he's in every single stable that Jericho has ever been in, like that's his like yeah, him and, right him, hand and ha- man. him and Hager. Yeah. So I'm I'm cool. Like I mean, yeah, I I'm that's what I'm trying to think of. Like, what other young talent? It would be cool if you brought Jordan Oliver. Like he ends up being a part of that. Yeah. Because it's easy just to have them do something with Nick Wayne right away and shit, you know. Mm-hmm. What's going on with that Christian and, and all that? So they're they're just hidden away for a bit. I guess I don't I, I don't it fucking know. Weird. Like he Christian lost, <clears throat> and they're just like the whole stable is just like we have to go into hiding. Like you know who I think could use some guidance from Jericho. This is like a hot a young talent. Uh, no one's gonna be saying this answer. Okay, you heard. Lego Del Sol. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, Frego Del Skull, but I was going to say, the real guy, the real talent, Christopher Dustin Daniels, Rhodes. dude. Oh, okay. Yeah, Dustin, oh, too. You're right. Dustin could Yeah, they do have a lot tips. to learn, honestly. That's true. You really yeah. could learn some yeah. tips from uh, Jericho. Yeah, I could see him bringing action on Dreddy in. Yeah. He's Just because like, they did do that angle flight, together. So. Yeah, well, I could have him screw over top flight. I don't know. They... <clears throat> or Dante Martin, he should bring in someone that's like, yeah. I just don't see that like, needs Andretti that extra push. Like, I don't think he could pull off a yeah. heel. Do you think Dante Martin could pull a heel off better? I mean, I don't, I don't really <sighs> believe in any of them I, pulling yeah. off a heel, but maybe not yet. <clears throat> what about a female? Yeah. Who, if he's a female, who would you bring under the learning tree? Athena. No, she doesn't need it. <laughs> she's already, she's already. Billy doing, Starks, like, the same maybe Billy Starks, because she's no. Like, Billy she's Starks already is in that like, stable, <laughs> the same gimmick. Yeah. That's like, right. It is the same. Yeah. thing. I don't know. I feel like everyone's been begging for the last like three years <laughs> to put Layla Hirsch in to like a stable. Like they wanted yeah. her in like FTW, the the Taz cool. stable, and even her in like Blackpool because she's like a shooter. Yeah. So maybe her. Yeah, I'm trying to think who Jericho else is. Gonna, who else is not can Harley pop Cameron? In. I hope definitely not Daniel Garcia. If they, he's if they put Harley on. Cameron in it, it'd just be like over the top goofy because she's like really goofy. I could see yeah. Ethan Page. Jericho hate not Jer- Goldberg hates her. And a JAS is she gonna come back and continue nah, her? It would just wouldn't, it would make any sense no, I know. like her character progression. They need he need definitely need new people. Yeah. I would, 
What about I mean, there's Cage? so many people that are in the company that it's like just insane that they're still there. It's like it'd be cool if Cage joined. Like Brian Cage is like he has. They'd have to like do something with the mogul embassy first because he's like technically part of that stable. Yeah, they have to have him leave it. Mm-hmm. Say good day, mate. Have a good one. Oh, uh, what if they put Angelico in it? I'd be okay with that. That'd yeah. Be sick. You know what? Would... Maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm right. Maybe we're putting Helico in this. Maybe they put Max yeah. Caster in it, dude. That would be cool. <laughs> Honestly, it would be. If Chris break fucking them hates up. him. What about Nick Camarado? Where the fuck is he at? Oh, that'd be kind of cool. He's I like been doing guy. ROH. He had a match in ROH. He rules. Last week. Yeah, yeah. He wish he would do good. more. You know what? I want? I want the fucking butcher to do more. It pisses me the fuck off that like they're not featured heavily. Yeah. The yeah. Butcher and the blade. I understand. Yeah, the Butcher and Blade, and they're day ones too, man. And they were, yeah. they came in like a little, like what, like a few couple like fe- months in? February like, of 2020? Like a few months into it, yeah. yeah. Chris's favorite fucking young talent and they is were, Zach And they Knight. were fucking workhorses for fucking, uh, straight through COVID. Like the Butcher and the Blade, like, yeah, were in yeah. so many fucking matches, dude. So many. And just complete workhorses Did for the Did they ever company. get a figure? Who? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. came out semi recently. Dude, it was so hard not getting that figure today. I just. Yeah, remember when they, those they were, had like ten of them there. They looked really fucking cool. What? The, yeah, there's like ten of the Penta. Penta Supremes. Yeah, they're insane. Yeah, it's like the all out. I don't know whatever whatever all out they versus the Bucks in the cage match. It's like that gear. Yeah, that match was awesome. Twenty one, I think. Yeah. So then, next match was at Tony Storm. Um, well, so we we skipped a couple. We can brush on. What did we skip? Quick. We skipped uh, Willow and Julia Hart. Willow won yep. the championship. TBS. That was right out yeah, there. I like uh, that. Yeah, and, it was cool. And then Mercedes came out, and then yeah. on Dynamite, her and Mercedes had their thing. Yeah, she did going like a, on a little celebration. It was cute, and then it was Mercedes good. It was good promos, but her. the audio was fucked up with like their microphones. That was like that. the whole thing on Dynamite last night. Oh, yeah, it got a little bit better but... for the following segments, but like that segment, I was like, because their promos were good, and I'm just like, fuck, you're, you're ruining it. Yeah, you know, Chuck E. Cheese, <laughs> here we come. They were at Chuck E. Cheese. I saw that. Hell yeah! And dude, Mercedes had a better slap than than Dewey for sure. Dude. Dewey. Dewey? Dewey. Talking... The Rock. The when Rock. he slapped yeah. Cody. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was thinking of uh. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, David Arquette, because that's his I'm name just, in Scream. I was just thinking of oh, yeah. Dewey. I can call him Maui for a moment. <laughs> You're Miss thinking Child. Malcolm in the Middle? What's your, I don't know. For, what for my Moana last, fans. I don't know what Dewey's last name is. They don't have a last name, but if you look you into sure? the deep lore, the last name of the Malcolm in the Middle family is Wilkerson, because it shows up on Lois's smock or on like Francis's uh, cadet card. Anyway, uh, yeah, we should, I we thought should I thought their last name was Middle. I thought they were the Middles <laughs> too, dude. But that's a whole nother show, the Middle. Anyway, we should, we I'm should, confused. We yeah, should we start should... a Malcolm in the Middle pod. Hold on, wait. Yeah. Malcolm in the Middle. Let's see if there's any wrestling crossovers. Yeah, there is. I just don't can't remember them right now. But they in the opening card in the opening thing they show the yes! wrestling WCW. Yeah, and it's Bret Hart it's doing Bret the uh, sharpshooter. Yeah. Yep. Bret wow. the Hitman Hart. That's crazy. Yeah. Life is fair. So look, honestly. see, we're geniuses. We bring it all back. Um. So then the next match. Uh. Oh wait, should we uh, elaborate on our thoughts on how Sasha is going to take the belt? The Candyman can. Yeah, exactly. she's definitely <laughs> taking the belt at a. Uh... Mercedes, Mercedes. I need to get it. What's the next pay per view? What's the next pay per view? Is it double or nothing, right? I don't know if there's Mm -hmm. another little new one between them. Because there's like eight or nine. There's like nine this year, right? I was counting the list. It's double or nothing, June. And then June's Forbidden Door. And then end of August is all in. And then the next weekend's all out. All out. And then. Dude, they need to make that like two weeks apart or something. I like. It's like a little. Because you don't have, like, a lot – like, I don't know. I guess it's, like – How is Green Shirt Guy going to get to all of them? And then October is Wrestle Dream, and November is Full Gear, and then December yeah. is World's End. 
Yeah, World's End was awesome. I'm I'm excited again this year for that. Too much money. Yeah, it's fifty yeah. bucks. Every but dude, time. Crazy. honestly though, with, with uh, you know, AEW, they do have you know obviously attendance issues for a lot of the TV shows, but like pay per views, they're fucking they're jam packed. They so every time, it's yeah. smart that that he up up to pay per views. They and they're they have good pay per view buys. I know Revolution is like one hundred eighty thousand, yeah. which nowadays That's with like people million. streaming illegally is really good. And there was a very, it had a really, really high gate too. I mean, we were there. It was sold out for Sureniture.com. It's another sponsor sponsor of ours, but. For Sureniture. Um, for all your furniture and chair needs. But yeah, I think they should, they should Sorry. keep riding that momentum. And they've got their cities, man. You know, like Long yeah, Island, like New York, Chicago, they really Florida, change. they they do well, you know. They didn't change like any of the cities this year for all the pay-per-views. Like, no, because they know of, the cities that they show out in. It's like they're coming back to North for full gear. They're coming back to like uh, the Washington area for Wrestle Dream. All out Chicago yeah. still. Double or Nothing's Vegas again. All in's obviously the UK. Yeah. AEW, honestly, their main territory is Chicago. Yeah. But they're super over in New York, too. Say so Chicago, New York, obviously Florida, but like they, yeah. Any shows they do in those in those areas, they fuck. Dude, the St. Louis crowd was fucking awesome. Now mm-hmm. I wasn't yeah, sure, yeah. you know, because the only like company that's really been doing stuff in St. Louis, like big cards, was uh Billy Corgan and 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 uh, NWA. Mm-hmm. They did like the back to back years at that, you know, fucking historic building that they used to do shows back in the 60s, 70s, and right probably on. up to the 80s. <clears throat> um, yeah. So guys, what'd you think of Roddy versus O'Reilly? I thought um I thought it was good. I, was, I wasn't it was I thought it was good, but it wasn't. I was like kinda great. stoked I, during it. It was pretty it I enjoyed it. It was uh, a lot of insane technique. I don't really know I, how to I put feel it. like they I feel like it definitely showed to me that they will have like a another future match because yeah. like I feel like they they're they left a little bit out there. Like, you know what I mean? Like they were, did just a, a perfect amount, but like they could have done even crazier shit. And I think they're like, they don't want to do that all at first. And it was O'Reilly's first match back too. And I thought it was, I enjoyed it a lot. And yeah, I think they're definitely going to have another match for sure. And O'Reilly yeah. looked good on dynamite too. I like that. Yeah. Uh, he looked really good with, I'm trying to remember who he was matching up with in the ring. Was it Jay White or was it Osprey? I think Osprey. it was Osprey. Yeah. Yeah. He kept doing that insane thing where he would almost fly out of the ropes and then come back in. <laughs> Just like so yeah. seamlessly. That was a good match. Um, it'll yeah, be cool like, to see. Match. It'll be cool to see Osprey and uh, Roddy against each other. Osprey. Yeah. Osprey. He's oh, taking true. that. It's funny. It's like they announced two matches, and it's like very obvious that the people are losing their titles. Like it's yeah. Willow is losing it to Mercedes. Uh, yeah. Transitional I champ. I have some more news. I found. Oh shit! Yeah, it's it's related <laughs> to the Learning Tree. Chris Jericho. He's a he got cast to star in a wrestling action horror film called Dark Match. It's called a, a yeah. Small I heard time, about this. A dude. small time wrestling company accepts a well-paying gig in the backwoods town, only to learn that the community is run by a mysterious cult, uh, a mysterious cult leader with devious plans for their match. Yeah, I hate this because I had a like idea for this like years ago. I was talking to Jason <laughs> about it, and then we re- remember we read about this, Jason. I'm just like, great. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, but the Trevor from GTA Five's in it. He is. He's oh, Stephen Ogg. He's great. Why don't they have Vin Diesel in it, though, is what I want to know. That's why I'm on this shit right now. I'm like, who the fuck's yeah. directing this shit? Who the Vin Diesel. Who the fuck is directing this shit? Um, Lowell Vin... Dean? What else have you made, you fuck? Vin Diesel is. And why didn't you cast Chris? Oh, he made Wolf Cop? I've actually seen that. It's pretty good. <laughs> Sick, uh... I've seen Wolf Cop. I haven't seen that one. Uh, yeah, it's similar. I've seen Wolf Cox, it's yeah. similar, yeah. but... <laughs> Yeah, the tagline is "Here comes the fuzz." Anyway, pretty good movie. That's um, a good joke, I guess. It's all right. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Osprey, Osprey. 
Yeah, that was a real crazy battle royale. I didn't understand the rules until like it probably like gaunt, it was a gauntlet match. Bro. Ten minutes in, I don't know yeah, what it was, it a, was. I'll take it. Was a, it, it was kind of confusing the gauntlet match, but yeah, I, I started figuring it out. It was incredibly confusing. I this yeah. happened yeah. earlier this happening. year yeah. for us. I forget it was like another gauntlet type match, and mm-hmm. uh, yeah, we were. It was the same thing. We're just like, yeah, um, didn't really know the rules, but it was a cool match. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good match. Oh, another little note that I forgot to touch on is... is there's uh, a sequel called Another Wolf Cup? It's called Wolf yeah, Cup Another 2. Wolf Cup. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. It's literally called Another Wolf Cup. I'm looking at it. <laughs> That's not what I was going to say. I was going to say Adam Cole giving Wardlow the death stare. Yeah, that pissed me Are off. Are they finally going to move that story along? That just... It, it, that annoyed the fuck out of me, to tell you the truth. Because... Like, obviously, it's like he's going to turn on Wardlow once Wardlow, if he doesn't win the title or it does or whatever, they're going to turn on him at some point. And Wardlow's mm-hmm. not going to deal with his shit. But, like, I think why, I think... why just, why, like, show that, and make it so obvious at, so early on? Like, when he did that with MJF, where he did, like, the knife in the back, like he did in NXT, like, why make it so obvious when you have, like, a, you can build a really good storyline? Like, why also, like... fucking do that? Why? It it's makes, fucking stupid. It makes Wardlow look fucking dumb because he's been crossed like 80 times. Like, they should have Wardlow cross them first. That's yeah, probably like he's what's using gonna them. Happen. I hope so. I just think it's so dumb, though. Like, why show make it so obvious so early on? Like, he's done that the past two storylines. Like, the one MJF pissed me off the most. Yeah. And showed he was a devil right then and there. But the fucking... Did the little knife I mean, thing? Like he knows everyone's gonna see it. Like why do that? Why not? You you have to evade. Think more. You, know? you have to evade expectations. So it's like when things are so obvious. I think Tony understands that you have to try to flip it. Like Jericho having go away heat and then flipping it into let me use the yeah. Heat. But they don't you know? flip it though with with like because Adam Cole. Well, let's let's hope ball, that they do. He he did that and. It made him obvious, like when he did, did that to MJF, that he was the devil man. And we're, we're all hoping, like, yeah, it can't be that obvious, but no, it, it I was. Think, I think a big part of him doing that to Wardlow at the pay per view is just to keep relevance, you know, because it's like, yeah. there's nothing else. I going just don't on think it needs to go he's there. He's getting yet. wheeled around, you know. Well, he's out no, of the wheelchair he's, now. He stood up. Yeah, he's. That's right. He's that's saved. right. Keep up, Jason. Come on. Dude, I'm trying. Oh, AEW oh. World's Women Championship match. Uh, Tony retained against Thunder. I know that, that made really, Chris That's a really good match. Yeah, that was awesome. That was a really fucking awesome match for sure. That was one of my faves of the night. Yeah. Um, he wasn't wearing her uh, paint. Yeah. I, I, was Tony... low-key, I was low-key a little mad that she didn't keep the Lucha mask on. Dude, yeah, that the Lucha mask was cool. fucking awesome, dude. And the it commentator looked, said, oh, is he going to wrestle with this on? And then she, she took it off she right after wear, that. She used to wear a mask in a yeah. Lucha Underground when she was like Cobra Moon or whatever the fuck her name was. That's pretty yeah. sick. Yeah, Thunder looked at fuck. That, that was her best match since coming back. Yeah, the women, the women's title feud is like kind of cool because there's like four women kind of like yeah. all f- hovering around it. Yeah, and they're, like all, they're all like main level talent too, for mm-hmm. sure. That's why, you know, just waiting for Tessa Blanchard to show up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Apparently, she was talking to Impact. That was other news we were talk yeah. about. I but yeah, happened. I don't know if that, how real that was. But I mean, I don't know. I feel like at some point, other companies will talk to her in the future. But yeah, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll yeah, see. But yeah, yeah. It's, it was it was a good ending. I love Tony doing sending her to Dick Kick City. While we're at it, oh, let's yeah. talk about Mina Shirakawa and Anna J. Just I like that match. What were your yeah, thoughts? That was a Chris? fun match in Dynamite. Yeah, too many, dude. I like her fun, energetic entrance. That's what it says on. The- yeah, I loved well, yeah, it, dude. Her, uh, her she comes out song. dancing and singing. Yeah, it's like dancing because what's that one song? The one Brazil that uh, it's like the end of Fast Five. <sighs> yeah, uh, nah, 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 nope, Tokyo. Nope, that's a Tokyo one. Not that one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she's awesome. And <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's cool to see the women's division just get rounded out more as they find like more talent that they could do fun stuff with. 
Yeah, and, and having Tony has been great because she's, I don't know. It was it's for it's really it's been her and Rhea. Now Rhea's injured as like the top, a top of the like world. What's it? What's up, Could Chris? You hear that? Could you hear what I was playing? No, we couldn't no. hear it. Really? That's crazy. You're gonna have to just... sing it for us. <laughs> it's too late now. Moving on. <laughs> moving on out. All right. Okay, Will um, Ospreay versus Brian no, no, Danielson. No, 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 no. I'm just moving on from that song. What, what were we saying? Because we did we talk about Serena Deeb coming out? Oh no, we did not. Oh yeah, so another audio yeah. issue. No one had any idea what the. Why would she? Why she didn't have? She didn't have a microphone. She was just talking to the camera. Or was getting camera audio. Like why didn't they just? Say and, and she just saying all this. She's like, I, 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 music. and I'm back. And then I was just like, I, 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 and I was just like, I can't hear you. Yeah. Everyone was doing that. There was close to a million people saying, "What's going on?" I put the volume up so high, and then the commercial came on, and the uh, Jen Jen was like, "What the fuck?" I had it on like eighty because whopper, I couldn't hear whopper, her. Whopper, whopper. <laughs> yeah, and I was trying to hear fucking yeah, exactly. I was trying to hear Mercedes too, and fucking yeah, I'm like, girl, need the some CEO. headphones, dude. I like I like Anna J, but she she really ruined this like the champagne. Like the champagne celebration right at the end by choking out, um, Mariah kind of pissed me. Yeah, off I didn't off appreciate that. that at all. Cause really? Mariah's the best. Oh, Fucking Mariah's so good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like the four girls: Thunder, Diana, Serena, and Mar- like Mariah, all are kind of like hovering around that title. Yeah, I dig it. Pretty awesome. There's gonna be a lot man. of cool shit. Yeah, and then like the uh, yeah. And the TBS title, they got some wild shit going on. So even there, they kind of sold like four people: Mercedes, Willow, Sam yeah, Leonard and Julia are still kind of hovering around that. Yeah, I, I, I think it's dope. I you think it's think... dope, and the TBS title is going to be next level once Mercedes has it. Oh, yeah, so true. I, what... I was going to say, do you think that Osprey is going to have to do the Tiger Driver? To win the international belt, bro, he doesn't want to fucking do it anymore. After he, hurt but dude, he might Brian need Danielson. it. He might need to use it though, dude. Yeah, Come on, I don't know what the, I don't know what the um, maybe it's like he has another match with Danielson and he loses because he doesn't use it. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. that's like we like that was what's leading up to. He'll he'll do like a half thing, and Danielson will turn it into like uh his bell lock or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Do a crazy backflip reversal. Hit, but... Yeah, and then uh, then he'll, maybe he'll finally listen to fucking Don Callis, who he should be always listening to. Kyle Fletcher gets it; he's scared of him. You should be scared of him. <laughs> and then and he- Farrow. Yeah, me, Cody, and Farrow. We watched the entire Dynasty, and it was awesome. So what did, what did you think- guys? <laughs> me, and, me and me and Puff watched the entire Dynasty. Shut up. Puff. Yeah. Thank God. Shout I mean, out. Those are fun watch parties. I took Puff I took this wrestling. photo. Shout out, Puff. Shout out, Chris, for taking that photo. I took this Chris. photo, too. No, you didn't, dude. That looks like I Chris's did, did work. It. You took this photo. Chris took the Cody Rhodes photo. No. I did. That was me. And he's like, yeah, I got a bunch. They gave me a bunch of free ones. And then I was like, oh, cool, cool. And he's like, yeah, they're all signed. And then. I thought he was gonna give me one, and he's like, "Yeah, 150 bucks, you little piece of shit." And I'm like, "Oh, great!" I do. I need the money. Straight out of the, the kid's college fund. And that puff photo is one of one. Yeah, hey, listen. Sometimes life has its disappointments. Kind of like when Will Hobbs got injured last night. It's true. Was he injured? Like, it it's weird. Like it. I think he was. I, think I don't he was, think that they took he the would camera off him completely because they wouldn't have the camera on him. They kept just having him like Moxley, and they didn't cut and back the, to him at all. The ending was like really quick and out of nowhere. Yeah. So I think, but I also, think, uh... yeah. But what also makes me sad is even then having to cut it early. They really only were going to have another two or three minutes. Yeah, the match for that last segment, weird. though. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So like, it was kind of lame that they didn't give that match a lot of time to begin with. You know. Hmm. So I feel like that's when injuries can kind of happen when you're trying to get be a little bit faster and get more shit in because you got fucking five and a half minutes in the ring. True. Um, yeah, let's see. But Moxley's two and a half minute walk out. Yeah, it takes like Moxley 17 minutes to get to the ring. Yeah. And then uh, Takeshita. Think, he's still in shield, the shield. 
<laughs> yeah, Takeshi came out, which is awesome. Do you think yeah. that was like? Uh, do, do you think he was always supposed to come out, or I they think just so. like, we need to do something? I think <laughs> no, it's probably think an angle. Yeah. In, yeah. No, I know it's an angle. I just didn't know if it was gonna be something like I don't know later on, but it was cool to catch the yeah. Him and He's Mox. not going to beat Moxley, but they're going to have a great we'll match. Yeah, definitely have a cool feud. We saw them against each other at Fighter Fest, right? Uh, it was like a title elimination match. I feel like mm-hmm. that sounds about right. Like or are Takeshita. you thinking Kenny versus Takeshita? No, no, uh, no. But that was a that was a uh, a different. We went to. Back to back fighter fest, I believe, and I thought one of them it was Takeshi versus Moxley. I could be mm. wrong, Chip. Oh, so, I'll um, look at it. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm I'm pumped. I'm pumped for Mox to have the IWG yeah, title you are right. on. It did right. Moxley versus Takeshi in an eliminator match. Seven thirteen yeah. AEW Dynamite. Fighter Where was it? Yeah, twenty twenty two. Yeah, okay. That was, I think your brother was with us at that show. Was that the cage? That was in Savannah, Georgia. That one was Savannah. So okay, yeah. we were at oh, the wow. Alpharetta one with him. We were at part two. Was late the, <laughs> the following week. We went to with him. And we Moxley, have I think, bought Trent on that for show. Wrestling. That's enough air time for Mike. So Savannah yeah. is definitely a weird crowd for wrestling. I gotta say that. Yeah. They're... Little spooky. I think they were a little cooler the most recent time I went, though. Yeah. Um. They're starting yeah. to figure it out. Yeah. But uh, what can you do? Anyway, what'd you guys think of Osprey and Danielson? I've been asking it Jeez. since it happened. <laughs> ten. Well, ten. Ten times a million, right? Um, and yeah, Dave Meltzer said it was the greatest U.S. match in history. Of course, he's got like 35 Japanese matches above that. So, yeah. Let but Osprey was at, asked if he cared about it. And he's just like, he's like, I don't know. He's like, I really don't care because like Kurt Angle's one of my favorites and he's never been given a five star match. So he's like, really, what are the ratings? You know? Yeah. He's like, yeah. there's stuff that I can do that he can't. And there's stuff that yeah. Kurt can do that I can't. So, yeah. It's just another guy's opinion. Everybody's yeah, got yeah. has, just like has, buttholes. Okay. Yeah. He said, arseholes. Has Meltzer has Meltzer seen a London and Kendrick versus Eminem? Probably not. He, like, come on. Well, he probably did. He probably just gave it a shit rating because he's a sicko. Mm, no, he probably would have gave it seven. Seven stars. Seventeen stars. Um, I like, did you say this or was there a tweet where it was like, "What if Dave Meltzer has been lying this whole time and his star ratings are out of ten? Did you ever think about that? Oh, and every, everyone just sucks to him. He's just a real <laughs> dick. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. That would be cooler, honestly. I would be for that gimmick for him. Also, yeah, it was funny during the zero hour. We forgot to mention that, like, how Meltzer tweeted, like, oh, Max Cast is probably going to get in trouble for that one. Yeah, I don't think he did, so, because he's wrestling on collision. <laughs> yeah. Shut up, bitch. What exactly but... did he even say? Somebody like he said he was gonna put his dick in his mouth or whatever. His dick a, or something. Got him. Or is, and it's like sexual <laughs> harassment. I don't know. Yeah, he Ooh. said you can like hit up the HR department. And I'm gonna be shoving my dick in like Jay White's mouth. He didn't say Jay White, but he was like looking at him when he said it. So I figured it was Jay, Jay White White's broke mouth. into Billy Gunn's house, dude. Okay, that's true. Come Swerve, on, man. Swerve tried to murder Nick Wayne, <laughs> and then he tried to eat Hangman's. And baby. that's why he's our hero. Yeah. That's why we love him now. Yeah. Well, <laughs> All he needed was to try to eat a baby. <laughs> yeah. People are so <laughs> tucked into what's going on in Hollywood swear, now. Swear, swear. Yeah. Eating babies. Anyway, you guys see that tiger suplex that uh Brian did from the top rope? Yeah, it was dope. Oh. <laughs> the whole match was awesome. I don't I guess it's like Osp- Do you think it's Osprey's best match of the year so far? Yeah, let the flipping wall. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah it's 100%. pretty good. <laughs> 100%. Sorry, we're having fun. Anyway, um, I don't know. Was it better than crazy. Was it better than him and Takeshita? I don't it's know. Close. Takeshita match did go crazy. Because I feel I like know. I have some recency bias because I was the same way. Like, this is the best one so far. But I was like, I don't know. Takeshita match was fucking 
pretty I amazing. Think, I think that I like the Takeshita match more, but because Brian Danielson is who he is, That's, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah. It, it carries it was, it had more a, weight. a different feel, yeah. There's a lot of story to it, so. Yeah. But, in, yeah, in the Ospreay, future, this people is the year will look of Ospreay, at that dude. to catch yeah. that match. Looks so cool with those pants. Hell yeah. Fucking love to catch that. Yeah, he's so fucking tall. Some nice pants. <laughs> yeah. Um, The Freaky Bucks ladder match versus uh, Freaky TR. Super kick. So, you know, we called it. Jack Perry came out. That, yeah, that match is also awesome. Yeah, yeah. it was cool. I like that? that he was like he was like giving a little swoosh. rip his mask off. He's like, it's me. It's me, Sting. <laughs> <laughs> I like try. I was like, oh, fans in the ring. Oh fuck! Holy fucking shit! Oh my and, god, yep. dude, he's so dude, and that just goes into uh, the elite. This is this is the best elite. I agree with them. This is my my favorite. We got the Bucks, Okada, the scapegoat. It's fucking next level. The scapegoat's super over. The Crimey River chants are fucking great. Um, yeah, it's too good. Yeah. And it all led to uh, to a beautiful dynamite ending. Um, and Tony came out, you know, shook his hand. And I, like they, Tony, I just saw this like... Tony didn't talk at all. He just, <laughs> no, he's just like... Yeah, he doesn't need yeah, yeah. to. And then they just hold, held hands and walked yeah. around the ring. Yeah, the one yeah. part, the one part when Jack was like saying to him, like, uh, he's like, oh, like something like nice about the company, like you really like we did it together. I want to keep, you know what I mean, changing the world. Yeah. And then like Tony like puts his hand on his heart. And he's like, me too. Yeah, he's like, me too. Just Brother. to get fucking gut punched. Brother. And also, people are talking shit about how he sold it. It's like, come on, man. He's a little, yeah, he's like, so, he's like, a little forgot, guy. He forgot he got Let's go play by play. Let's go play by play of it. He first, I, I think it was amazing when Jack did the smile like on Tony's shoulder because he Fantastic. ever knew it was coming. Yeah. He's just like, like a fucking creep. That was so good. And then yeah, he it was a little bit of a delay. He got punched in the stomach, then he dropped, and then like one to like three seconds and he's like oh, oh that's why i posted that tim robinson i was like oh my fucking stomach oh well, it's like shit. you know in scarface when that guy he gets shot a bunch of times but he's still going you know what i mean it's like it takes a second for the yeah. pain to hit i think he might have just got knocked out and when he hit his head on the ground kfib and then when he woke up came out of it like, like three seconds later he's like oh my stomach is fucked <laughs> so i'm gonna give him the pass on that and then after that, he he starts like crawling up as like the young bucks come to the ring, and he's just kind of being a creep in the fetal position too much and like moving around. And it it reminded me, I was like, Tony, take a chill pill. This is not a Diddy party, all right? You don't <laughs> <laughs> just stop it. This is not a Diddy party. Chill out, TK. Mm. You know, I mean, hold on. Like, I mean, look at my picture. What kind of party you think he thought it was last night? That's you know, like I think when he got knocked. He got hit in the head, so it was just like, you know, he was just like, "Whoa, oh fuck, oh." He heard like he heard the uh, every step you take. This <laughs> let <laughs> Meek Mill out. You make <laughs> yeah. Let Meek Mill free out. Meek Mill. Free. He doesn't want to be Mill. freed. Honestly, he doesn't. He's fine. Anyway, he's he, he's, he's good to go. Tony got smacked and they looked great, you know. What's it called? They were, yeah. they were doing their well, NWO after, yeah. shit. Okada did the the Scott Hall. Yeah, yeah the Scott yeah. Hall. Arms. Dude, that ending was awesome. Fuck anyone who said it wasn't. Dude, it was amazing. It was and then because it was so cool when they bring, I thought Tony did a great job when they like brought him up and he's like holding his stomach and like I thought his emotions. He looked good there. Like when they and then Jackson, you know, got him in the tombstone position for the Meltzer driver. And I think that's the TK driver. Am I am I tripping? What? It's the Meltzer driver. It's the Meltzer driver? No, I thought they, it was they, Jason's right. They renamed it to the TK driver when they became the EVP characters. Yeah, when Meltzer didn't give him a five star, they said, fuck you, Uncle Dave. Yeah. Well, so it makes sense too, because they're doing the TK driver on TK. It was there, I guess they were foreshadowing, I that's guess. That's what it was meant for. But yeah, probably. it was awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh it was perfectly hit. Um, 
and everything just looked great, dude. So I, I fucking loved it. And that's what Tony gets for fucking putting bang, bang, scissor gang on the fucking zero hour. So Karma's we're changing the world. And if I Tony's going to be, in, uh, if Tony's going to be in the way, then whatever. We'll so Jojo let's C. have to take him out. Y'all, Changing wait, world, real quick. Dude. We forgot about this in Rapid Fire. Jojo, Jojo Siwa, our future favorite wrestler, um, just came out with a new crazy song. Total Karma's heel turn. Total heel turn. Yeah, Karma's a bitch, dude. Yeah. That's what, and that's wait. what the EVPs, EVPs were saying to Tony last night. Karma's a bitch, bro. If you would have known, Tony's you would have never effed out. around. Dude, Tony's dad came out, too, and he's just like... Bryce, what's happening? He's like, Bryce, is this real? <laughs> is my is son still real? an idiot? Is he still an idiot? <laughs> um, Bryce. Stop, Bryce. dude. Wait, now that we're Maybe on if it, I move my hands didn't, around, people didn't will Tony's think brother? I'm saying something important. Didn't what? Tony's brother say that he wants to have a WrestleMania? That's his fake brother, right? That's his fake brother, right? That's, That's his fake brother. I don't think Tony actually has a kid, like a brother. Yeah, he's okay, we're he definitely puts across only child vibes. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but uh, he's only child. But yeah, that goes into what we were saying, dude. He needs to fucking be wearing a neck brace draft for the draft tonight, tonight with millions of people looking, looking on like when they go to the, of, like the, the NFL. Room. NFL.com reported about the him getting a pile driver and shit like that, dude. Like right after it happened. Well, yeah, he, he better, dude. It, it's this is huge, and I messaged him on IG, and I said, "You better be wearing a fucking <laughs> well, like neck brace." Like I said, er, like I said earlier during during the taping of the Trent Chuck match, he was wearing a neck brace already. So okay, good, good. He's got it. I believe. I believe in Tony. I believe that, guys. I we've, believe we've in forgotten. Tony Hendry. We've totally forgotten. What? Swerve, dude. We totally well, forgot. We didn't forget. Swerve. We we're going in order, and we were going okay, back and forth between Dynasty event. and Dynamite. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's re- let's remember. Well, let's I can remember. remember. It, it was a solid. Remember. It was a solid main event. You know what I mean? It was solid. It was. It, yeah. It. It was pretty good. Yeah, it was just like. Um, it's just like one of those matches where you're like, I'm here for the ending, and I want to see him win. <laughs> Like yeah, yeah, there's like no suspense towards it. Yeah, there wasn't yeah, tons of suspense sure. besides yeah, and it was it was awesome to see him win for sure. Mm-hmm. And he uh and, and Nana came out and put the uh Jimmy Havocs um robe on him. Yeah, Jimmy Rave. Jimmy Rave, sorry. Not Jimmy Havoc. Jimmy dude. Havoc works yeah. with Sherwin Williams now, dude. And he's probably with, gonna uh, get Joey signed. Ryan. And he's with probably Joey gonna, Ryan, right? Yep. And they're both gonna get <laughs> yeah. signed by Vince's new company. Yeah. Yeah, the late Jimmy Rave. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <clears throat> that's cool. Um he also yeah, had the Black the, Panther type uh, gear, which is pretty cool. No, sick. yeah, it was a combo. He came out as a yeah. Well, it was the Killmonger, right? Something like that. Yeah, I don't know. It looked. I'm pretty it was, sure it was Black Panther aesthetic. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, no, it was awesome, and um, yeah, it was a solid match, and yeah, I ten. I'm feeling it, and then me. he's gonna have a good title run, I think. I think isn't the Wakanda this? That's Let's guess week, though. That's, Let's. That's who do you guys that. think will take the title from from Swerve? Um, but it's gonna be months know. from now. But who do you? How do you? You have to say when, but who... I don't think so. <laughs> I think who? I mean, I don't. Um, Okada or Osprey, dude, or is it Hangman? Jack, like Perry. this Hangman. Ooh, it'd be cool if Hangman did it. Guys, it's going to the scapegoat. Yeah, well, I could see it going to the scapegoat after Hangman wins it and goes, and him and Kenny have to go up against fucking the Elite again, and we'll get them. In... I think at all in, you get. We got a rematch for the tag titles of Kenny and Hangman against the Young Bucks. Ooh, I mean, I would, yeah, I'd fucking love that. I mean, that would be cool, and it makes sense because once they're both back, they're gonna have to start helping each other to deal with these motherfuckers. That is something we didn't mention. It's like Kenny's coming back um, next week. on Wednesday. Yeah, no, no one knows if he's if he's like coming back to announce that he's back wrestling, or maybe he's coming back to announce that he has to get surgery or some shit. And so I'm going to be like, and I don't want to be an EVP anymore. And hopefully they come out and beat the shit out of him too. Like, cool. 
and he like works it that he's like still not really good so everyone's like oh my god why are they doing that to him he's not well so and then he lets out a clean fart to prove that he's okay uh, and then the following week uh, we Freaky have hangman NWO. come in strike yeah, again have hangman get his ass kicked too and then finally they have to team up and start taking these motherfuckers on i would look like that yeah 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 Definitely. i'm really happy right now with uh that storyline for sure it is the, you one of the coolest like, in wrestling currently for sure was well, at least for the first match the first feud for sure they said they're announcing that next week on dynamite not a clue yeah. what it's gonna be but um it's gonna be something uh, like they like they did for Cody, like a AJ Styles, like kind of like someone that's probably do like a not that I don't know month program with, and because he's gonna beat them obviously. Only even got so. a month, I guess three weeks, yeah. Oh, uh, three weeks, yeah. So exactly, so it's gonna be someone I feel like more of a veteran, like that you know is gonna lose. They're not gonna do a more than one series. Wego does it. Bill Soul. Who do you, yeah, I'm trying to think who who would be the match for him right now because I mean, it's gonna be someone it, that loses. We said it. We said it earlier. Wait for who? It's gonna for be sure. it's gonna be Christian for Swerve. Yeah, yeah Christian that would be, be cool. cool. That'd be a reason for him to come back too because he still has history. Yeah. He has a history with Nick Wayne and all them. So yeah, I think that would be perfect. Honestly, maybe Eddie Kingston. He's yeah, he pretty high. Eddie. He's yeah. pretty high in the rankings still. Yeah. And the world is cold. True. He's yeah. But where does Samoa Joseph go from here? He's gonna take a break, probably. That's what I assume. Too. They're doing a season two, also of fucking uh, Road Twisted to Metal. Oh, okay. Yeah, Twisted so, Metal. <clears throat> the first season was was dope. What is it on? It's uh, on Peacock. Peacock. And we are yeah. sponsored by Twisted Metal season two. We're sponsored by season two. Season two. We're it's also twisted. season two of Bub Kids. Also Bub sponsored Kids by that by the new Fallout show. Yeah. Uh, they sent that? me a bunch of uh, radium and bottle caps. Where's that guy's nose? What happened? I don't, dude. I'm still trying to figure. I'm on the final episode. Where's Walton Goggins' nose? He no lost that on ICW show. Also, that's he was strange. on. <laughs> side note, he's on. That's fucked up. <laughs> side note he was on um righteous gemstones he plays uncle billy but he Baby um, boy, billy. i was watching a thing where danny mcbride was talking about why he made the righteous gemstones and it's because he wanted to make a series about wrestling he wanted to make a series about like that took place in like memphis wrestling yeah. era you know what i mean but he was also, like, i thought that all that whole last season got into wrestling so much yeah basically the show is about you know a mega church but like they the history like the father was yeah. like right, let's not spoil it yeah but, no you know, well, there's great, wrestling yeah, they shit show, yeah well the third yeah the past season was all wrestling because that the whole point is to show like the metaphor of like he goes from a wrestler to running a church because the same shit it's a work you know what I mean? He's got to get the crowd and know how to work them. And exactly, yeah. What do you mean? So, I mean, what do you mean? Yeah. It's a work. Anyway, it's about getting, mean, it's about getting that money. What happened on WWE this week, John? Wait. Well, yeah. So Raw. Yeah, that's not Raw real. was Raw what? was pretty good. It was. It started. It started out like the the promos were really fucking good. I loved. Uh, the Sheamus and Drew McIntyre promo they did with each other because they're still friends, but like. Burger. Drew McIntyre, it's like some Burger. Star Wars shit because, yeah, Drew is, like, evil right now, but, like, he, he's, like, oh, he's got, like, a tiny bit of good left in him, but barely, you know, so, like, he's still kind of nice to to Sheamus, but then he started saying all of the, you know, burger after burger and stuff like that, and everyone's chicken, making fun of him in the back. Chicken burger. Burger after burger. burger. Yeah. And then Sheamus shit baby. on him. Yeah, and then Sheamus was hilarious. He's like, you blew it. You blew it. And he's like, and then he's a one arm CM Punk beat your arse. And it was hilarious. And they're they're both getting into it. And when I'm able to add Twin Peaks music to it and it seems good, that's how I know oh, it was a good cool. a good segment. Yeah. That's how I know. Yeah. That's how I test it. I test with other segments and it doesn't hit. It's like, yep, this yeah. wasn't a good segment then. Not emotional. Throw it in the garbage. Enough. Yeah. If I'm looking for emotions, it you'll know. The yeah. bottle of mente will let you know. It'll tell your soul. Yeah. And uh, 
yeah so it, that, that was dope and then they had um there was a lot of friendships being tested you know on, on this raw and a lot of big storylines branching off and stuff um so also uh kaiser and 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 gunther are tired of giovanni's losing ways and just being a piece of shit so he's been losing so many matches for him for a while so kaiser went out and Ludwig Kaiser just beat the fuck out of him. And uh, yeah, he's out of the group now. And he came to the back and Gunther's like, yes, good job. Yes, mm-hmm. <laughs> you did good. They're freaky. Yeah, so it's dope. So that's, you know, so we're going to see what happens with Mr. Vinci, Mr. <laughs> Vinny Vici. Uh, and then also Judgment Day. Um, you know, Damian Priest keeps saying, like, I don't fucking need you guys. You know, I won this title myself. I don't need you guys. You need me. And Dom gave him like a dirty look, which was in this situation warranted because this has been being pushed for like a while now. So Dom, Mm -hmm. because he's talking shit to Dom and says it to him in Spanish. And then, oh um, shit. Yeah. Then uh, JD Madonna's like, what do you say? Dom's just like, you don't want to (laughs) know. And then, Fuego del Sol. Yeah, yeah, he did. (laughs) And then, uh, yeah, then then all kind of, and then you, you, we got to see uh, full heel Chad Gable again, uh, which was awesome. That's he had his whole crew out there, uh, Tazawa, um, Otis, Gable, and uh, Maxine. So he had all three of them out there and just went one by one, calling them losers and and shitting on them. (laughs) <laughs> and saying that the, everyone's goal now is to get him the IC title. And pretty cool. Yeah. So now he's like a, you know, dictator psycho of that crew. And he's just really mean to him. And uh, right yeah, he's funny. He's, he's coming and gunning for Sammy. Uh, so yeah, a lot of, a lot of friendships being tested for sure. And then it, it all like led to the battle Royal, which mm. motherfucker, right? Like, why did it like just commercials every like four or five minutes and yeah, it seemed uh, good at, like 10 30 yeah it's just like yeah we and don't, we like don't have to watch any of the in-between fighting we'll just like bring it back when people do finishers or get eliminated Dude, and then I someone t- get eliminated and be like commercial break i tuned in during a commercial and then back from tv it was like a two minute one shot of like becky walking through the back and then immediately went yeah back talking on the mic yeah I was like, but like, no, we're gonna get it started, and I've got like part of my book written on my outfit, and this this angle works really well. The only way it works well is if Becky is like becoming a heel again, because mm-hmm. everyone, obviously, all the fans wanted Liv to win, and like they 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 feel like you know, saying Becky's pulling a Jericho move. That's what I saw a lot of people saying, and like yeah. you know, she's trying to fucking do whatever, and like she doesn't need the title. So like, I hope this is, yeah, the fans like all kind of boo her a little bit and she starts grinding into the heel mode again and that works well you know her as a heel for sure but I mean, if they're uh, gonna try to just use this to like have her keep pushing her book and like being like you know your vitamins type becky it's not gonna it's not gonna work with the crowd yeah, so i wanted i wanted chelsea green to win dude right to be real. It would have been the perfect match to have someone like a transitional champ that like yeah, wins win. for like a year, a month or two, you know. That'd be cool. yeah. And then yeah, and then the actual champion wins the match on a pay per view instead of a battle royal. You know, I would. Mm-hmm. It's like when Nikki Cross won the title and she was like, uh, because she you know had Money in the Bank and the cash in, she was like a champ for like a month or an half or something. Yeah, but yeah, it was cool. Yeah. It was over. Like that I kind of like those little transition champs that are fun, you know. That was super Nikki. What was, your, what was your name? Nikki A.S.H. Uh, the actual A-S-H. superhero. Yeah, Nikki that A.S.H. Was fucking, that was fucking bad. Yeah. Yeah. I was just happy name. to see her win a title. Also, like, why try to make a gimmick that looks just like the Blue Blazer? Because Vince was planning on killing her, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, but... like, what the fuck, dude? I don't. He's a sick fuck, dude. He did uh, all the things he's allegedly, done. He allegedly, allegedly. These... He just does these jokes all the time. Yeah, it is allegedly. Anyway. No, he... But, yep. um... Shout out, Becky. Yeah. Shout out, Big Time Bex. I mean, Shout I'm happy to see Becky. a title on her. I just want to heel run. That's what I want. Mm-hmm. That's what I'd like. That's what I'd love. But, um... 
Yeah. Uh, Seth's a stay-at-home dad now. Yeah, he's well, he's getting – I guess he's getting, like, full knee surgery now. It's like meniscus was torn or something. Yeah, because he already had a surgery done and came back after, like, two or three months or whatever. He had a partial tear, and then he just fully tore it, basically, is what it seems like. So he needs a break though, man. He that man's been a workhorse for fucking ever for that company. But imagine if he showed up in AEW in six months. As Tyler Black. Dude, that would that would be insane. That would be very over. Yeah. That would be very Besides Roman Reigns, that would be like the biggest jump of all time. I feel like. Yeah. 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 It would be. I dude he it Who would be would insane trade? if you said let's make a trade, right? From AEW to get Seth Rollins. And so if you, I'm trading, trade? so if I'm WWE, obviously I've got the uh, upper hand. So I'm probably gonna try to get two people, maybe. <clears throat> well, hundred hundred percent. I'll take Edge and Kenny Omega. Mm, that's a that two upsets. Yeah, that's not happening. Yeah, there's I no know. way Tony will let go of Osprey or Omega or the Bucks. It'd probably be like something with Jay White. And probably Jay White. Not, yeah. It'd have to be Jay White and like it'd be cool if Jay White and Brian Cage or something. Throwing like even like you do Malachi. Like I feel like you have to throw in like yeah. three to four like three top guys. Probably bro probably Brody like, too, Jay honestly. White, Malachi and um And Brody can be with Uncle Phil. Else. And Okada. No, Okada. No. no. You gotta keep Okada, Osprey, and uh and hey, Kenny. There's one of three the guy. That, I'm trying yeah. to think of oh like throwing Ricky Ricky Starks Ricky. yeah definitely some throwing, 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 throwing Dustin <laughs> throwing yeah. Dustin for fun dude yeah and throwing Wardlow for sure and just give yeah him, yeah just insane. give him a nice Cody squad with Wardlow we sign Fuego trade him <laughs> trade him right right to NXT. we sign him just to have you know more yeah. pawns in the trade, uh, bait. Yeah. trade game yeah but um. Yeah, so I don't know. I, it's it's dope right now for sure. Like AEW and WWE are both running um, on all set cylinders and tearing it up. The rosters are lit, and uh, it's just nice because sometimes I like when they're both aligned, you know. Uh, it's so fucking good because, you know, sometimes like either company will be down or have like a couple boring weeks mm-hmm. or whatever the fuck, and yeah, they're both just pushing it to the fucking like- limit, dude. Like WrestleMania and Dynasty felt like a um, like a, they hit the refresh button and they changed yeah, a bunch of stuff up in both companies. Yeah, I dude, I agree. And like they seemed like they were going up against like Dynasty blew me. I thought it was gonna be good, but it was it was even better. Than I thought it was, it was, dude, it was really like, fucking good. Yeah. It was yeah. fucking just amazing wrestling, and yeah, I think they're just gonna keep going back and forth next level on pay per views and. Mm-hmm. It's great because WWE has a lot to prove too because they got the thing with Netflix for Raw and like they, uh, you know, Triple H wants to prove himself and, you know, TKO wants to go balls to the wall with them and, you know, see their investment through and bring it next level, which definitely is because, T- yeah, both companies TK are killing it. Balls to face on the pile yeah. driver. Yeah. yeah. Just like Tony with the Young Bucks last night. That's what I said, yeah. <laughs> TK. Yeah. That's what yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. Which was great, dude. Yeah. Match balls are all. Yeah. They definitely just did that to fuck with him. That was shoot. Yeah. Especially yeah. like making like, the, the gut punch position. was they planned. Knew, they knew. The gut punch was planned. Everything else was a shoot. No, it was what all you real. Think? You think it was all real? That's why Tony's real. dad was so scared. He's like, "What's going on?" You think Tony <laughs> Khan did any sort of training for that uh Meltzer for the TK driver? Yeah, they definitely probably did it a few times. Tried. I mean, you don't have to do much to, to take that move. Like, it's not really a bump, bump, because like his head's not no, hitting the yeah, ground or anything. Like, just hold on. But to yeah, the they probably legs. practiced it a few times. Yeah, it looked like he you knew where to hold or and be and everything. Waist, so I guess. he definitely practiced it I'm a little bit. Butt cheeks. Yeah, there you go, butt cheeks. Yeah, All hold right. on for dear life. But yeah, he was it was fluid. He didn't like you knew where to grab right away. So they definitely practiced it and. Yeah, do we have any fun. other topics or closing comments? I guess closing comments. Um, well, also I forgot the news. Uh, so not only on the CW app, which is free, you can watch NWA now and and heels and heels. 
Billy Corgan now has uh, his own show, documentary type show coming on. It's called oh, yeah, something Carney, Carney Land. Welcome to Carney, Carney Land. Land. Welcome to Carney Land with Billy Corgan. And I feel like the name what's, of that show what, what, is just calling Chris. Yeah, what does anyone know? Like, what is it actually about? I think it's just I think about, it's about him doing stuff with wrestling, and I think it probably goes music. a lot to the history. And yeah, I think it's about again. him. It's just him balancing both of those things is what I, I want. Yeah. Cir- I want more circus. He calls the wrestling stuff Carney Land, and he calls his music stuff Pumpkin World. Does he have any cotton yeah. candy though? I don't know. I, I hope so. That's when he's in Disney man. World. He does have that's clowns. Okay. There are some clowns in the company, and that's not even that's a true. fucking rib, dude. I'm not even burying it. There's yeah. the actual team that's clowns, right? What are they called, yeah, John? I've seen them. Yeah, ICP was doing shit with them. Slime Boys. There's yeah, other too. ones. Yeah, Slime. No, ICP was we doing We haven't stuff mentioned with the clown Slime guys. Balls in far too long. Dude, and so they're that's killing my, it. That's my end of the, uh, the pod, fucking. That's my fact yeah, totem. And we're also. Slime we Balls need to... forever. Yeah, so between now and next week, all three of us need to watch a different show outside WWE and AEW, and we can uh, come back next week with a review of it. Quick I'm ones, that. you know? Does Quick it have to be a one that's minute currently reviews on? of like how it made you feel, what was a good match, and what it's lacking. Of, of what? Of what? And if you would watch it again. Of any company that. Yeah, we'll have to fix one one I'll, I'll do NWA. Well, basically, we have NWA, Impact. MLW, um, okay. uh, I'll watch. Like, uh, be capable to actually watch. I'll watch an entire season of Big Little Brawlers, and I'll let you guys know what's up. Also, the clowns. Okay. Their, their name is Rufo and Yabo, the brothers of Funstruction. Hell yeah! That's right. That's right. And is yeah. doing fun stuff. I don't know what to watch, but uh, I'll find something. I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think we should just we'll all watch NWA for sure. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe I'll do that. Yeah, I'll find something on NWA. Yeah. All right. Ew, that's the Slime Boys. There yeah, I think that's it. That was that was episode twenty. Um, trying to think of some other jokes. Uh, uh real blast. Uh, Cry me a river. I can't think. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, El Gringo. Uh, yeah, where's uh, El Gringo? Play the song. Play the song, John Cena. Play Spotlight by Fozzie. Invasion Invasion Angle. Angle. Bet you love that sweet-ass podcast. I am John Cena, and I approve this message. Boobies.